Hey guys, so today we are going to be showing you how to put in a addict access door slash stairs. And right now we're just starting out by taping up plastic so that the drywall dust and insulation does not go out into the rest of the house. Tape up the sides a little bit so that it kind of creates more of a curtain. Okay, so right here, Ryan's going to start measuring for the hole that he needs to cut out. And he has to make sure it's level and completely square. And then after that, he's going to cut out the drywall. All right, so this is where he starts cutting down the drywall. He does have a mask on because you don't want to breathe in drywall dust and also insulation will be coming down as well. So he should be wearing safety glasses, but you know how men are. The tool that he's using is called, well, we call it a vibrator. I'm not sure what you guys would call it, but um, we call it a vibrator and it basically just vibrates this little blade thing and acts as a saw for soft materials. Now this beam that you see is not a major beam, it is simply a drywall beam to hold up the drywall. So he's going to go ahead and take that out. Um, I believe he just used some tin snips to cut that out, so that was pretty easy for him. Or should I say, it looked easy for him from down where I was watching. It probably wasn't as easy as I thought.
It looks that way. It's only it's a half inch difference. That's why we have the shims. Cool. So I'm going to go out and cut two temporary boards that I can screw one here and one here. And then uh, have you, I'll get on the ladder and have you come help me walk it up. If I had those in place, I might be able to just set it without having to have you get all the way up there and do anything crazy. Right? Okay. That sounds better. Yeah. Okay, let me go cut those. 26. Okay. okay, so here Ryan is getting ready to set the door up into the space, and he's going to put in these small wood blocks right now as a temporary hold piece but unfortunately the camera stopped rolling when he actually put the thing up in there so I did not get that but I noticed right after that that it wasn't rolling and so I did get get it turned back on right after we got it up in the hole And in this clip, Ryan is getting up into the attic to secure the door into the frame that he built. After that, he can take his support blocks down.
So here Ryan is going to start adjusting the actual ladder. We have to cut off some of the tin at the bottom to make it level. Step ladder once you get to this point. I have a lot of steps to this. Yeah. I was going to give it to my grandson, but I decided I use it too much. So I bought him a different one. There you go. And his name engraved on it. And you can reach that, right? That's probably right in your range, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 
You'll need your two step. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. But at least nobody's gonna walk through here unless there's six foot something that yeah. nobody's getting in. I don't see too many of your guests being six. Lastly, we put up the trim and then painted it all white. And voila, you have a beautiful attic access door. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have an awesome, awesome day.